Hello students, welcome to Naran PU College online classes and today we will discuss a new chapter here in the second year P block elements, clear? So you have studied in the first year S block elements and also P block elements that is 13th group and 14th group, clear? Now the remaining groups from the 15 to 18 we will discuss in this class clear so this p block elements are very very important for the pu as well as the competitive examination in the pu exam and the weightage of this chapter is 10 marks clear how many marks for the pu examination for pu exam and you know you will get the 10 marks from this chapter highest weighted chapter in the second year clear so remaining chapter if you see 8 7 5 like but this chapter you will get in the pu examination for 10 marks clear so here one mark question you will get one one question will come from for the one mark question and remaining three questions will come for the three marks three marks clear so one more question one one and here three marks questions three so three into three nine total how many marks ma here ten marks clear and also in the CET examination you will get the around four to five questions total p block elements you will get the four to five questions in the competitive examination also so that is it is having high weightage and we will discuss first of all here group 15 to 18 up to s block elements group 1 and group 2 you have already studied in the first year and also in the p block elements p block elements starts from 13th group to 18th group it starts from 13 and and by 18th group clear but you have studied 13th and 14th group you know boron family and carbon family you have studied in the first year and from now 15 to 18th we will start Clear? and between before that first we will discuss about the 15th group elements clear my here so you know that what are the 15th group elements first we have to discuss clear so we have i will write here 15th group elements the first one is here element and here symbol Clear? what are the elements are there and what is the symbol of those elements clear the first element in this is nitrogen what is the element ma here nitrogen clear so you already know that here nitrogen what is the symbol of nitrogen you already know n clear nitrogen then we have phosphorus we have which one here phosphorus the symbol of phosphorus is p nitrogen phosphorus next one is arsenic arsenic clear so the symbol of arsenic is as clear the symbol of arsenic is as antimony next one is antimony clear ma? antimony the symbol is sb and last one is here bismuth clear the symbol of this one is bi clear ma? so these are the elements of 15th group clear the first one is nitrogen second one is phosphorus symbol is p arsenic as antimony sb bismuth bi clear and now these are 15th group elements now and these 15th group elements have different names clear so these elements you know that these elements these elements called as called as you know one is 15th group elements we will call what is the first one here 15th group elements clear ma? sometimes you know if you do, don't consider the d block elements d block elements 10 are there if you don't consider that can also be called as and fifth group elements fifth group elements can also be called as which one ma here fifth group elements and also called nitrogen family can also be called as nitrogen family clear ma? and another one name is there here nicosians nicosians 
फिफ्टींथ ग्रुप एलिमेंट्स कैन ऑल्सो भी कॉल्ड एज निकोजन समटाइम्स वी विल कॉल्ड पिकोजेंस ऑल्सो एंड पी समटाइम्स विल बी साइलेंट हियर निकोजेंस ऑल्सो कैन बी कॉल्ड एंड दिस निकोजन दिस नेम इट हैज बीन डिराइव फ्रॉम ग्रीक वर्ड इट इज डिराइव फ्रॉम बिच वन मा हियर ग्रीक वर्ड दैट इज निकोमिक्स वॉट इज दैट नेम हियर निकोमिक्स वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ दिस निकोमिक्स वॉट इज द मीनिंग The meaning of this nicomics is suffocation. Suffocation means why it is means you know that most of these elements oxides and hydroxides are poisonous in nature. So that's why we will get suffocated when you inhale. So that's why and that suffocation is we will called in the Greek word picomics and from this picomics and the name is derived as a nicogens. clear ma so this is about the you know 15th group elements brief it can be called as a 15th group elements and here next one is 5th group elements if you don't consider the you know d block elements and next one is a nitrogen family and can also be called as a nicogens what is the nicogens here it is it, it has come from the greek word nicomix and nicomix meaning what it is here suffocation so these elements you know oxides and hydroxides are poisonous in nature so that's why we will call this one as a what we will get the get suffocated when you inhale clear next one is next one is occurrence clear so where these elements how these elements are available clear so now a nitrogen if you take nitrogen is occurred in the earth crust in the form of nitrates in the form of which one here nitrates and also if you take the phosphorus phosphorus is it is available or occur in the minerals of apatite and also remaining elements if you take arsenic antimony bismuth they are available in the minerals of sulfide and you already know that nitrogen nitrogen it is you know in the air nitrogen is almost 78% by volume and 78% uh, uh, you know almost 80% by mass it is present in the atmosphere and also you know that the nitrogen is a it is a main constituent in the proteins and amino acids clear now we will write here occurrence and occurrence and write we will write the table here and element which element and how it occurs and here put here occurrence clear ma occurrence clear make a one table like so what it is here first one is nitrogen nitrogen is it is occurred in the earth crust in form of nitrates what are those nitrates means and we have in the form of sodium nitrate and also potassium nitrate clear ma nitrogen is occurred in the earth crust in the form of nitrates mainly sodium nitrate and potassium nitrate sodium nitrate means this can also be called as chili salt peter and this is chili salt peter and this kno3 we will called as indian salt peter clear ma the names you have to remember why because in the competitive examination they directly they may give clear so what is the uh, which compound can be called as indian salt peter they will give four options here so like that they may ask clear and you know that here next one nitrogen it is a you know that it is it is main constituent main constituent in in proteins in what it is here proteins and amino acids proteins and what it is here amino acids clear ma this is about the which one here nitrogen clear next one what about the phosphorus phosphorus mainly occurs in the mineral of it occurs it occurs in mineral of in minerals of apatite minerals of which one ma here apatite what is the apatite means this is the we will call c9 po46 times and cax2 this we will called as a apatite clear ma here now it is in the form of you know if you take here and fluorine is available in the minerals of apatite and we have some 
appetite minerals one is if i put x x means here you can write here x can be x is equal to fluorine chlorine oh and etc clear if fluorine is there we will call this is fluoroaptite this can also be written as ca3 3 ca3 and po4 twice and cax2 Clear? Sometimes they can write in this way also and it is available suppose if it is instead of chlorine if fluorine is there that we will call it as a fluorapatite or we will call this is fluorapatite. What is the formula here? Ca3 and PO4 twice and CaF2 this is fluorapatite or you can write Ca9 and PO4 six times and CaF2 it is fluoroaptite if it is chlorine is there instead of x and chloroaptite this we will call as chloroaptite chloroaptite or you can write chloroaptite clear ma chloroaptite means what we will write here 3 Ca3 and you know PO4 and twice and Ca Cl2 chloroaptite hydroxyapatite if it is there oh then we will write here hydroxyapatite you know what we will write here hydroxyapatite so what is the here instead of this oh you have to put c you know this is clear ma ca3 and po4 twice and ca oh twice Clear? So, this is pass for us how it is occurs and also we know that about 60% of our bones and you know our uh, you know bones and teeth, teeth all are you know formed by this say phosphate calcium phosphate. Clear? Ma? So, this is main occurrence of which one mahiya phosphorus one is the nitrogen and another one is phosphorus you see we can write ca9 po4 six times ca2 that we will call as a aptite this is aptite family and we can also write in this way if fluorine is there fluoroaptite chlorine is there chloroaptite oh is there hydroxy aptite so next one you make a table like element and compounds you write you make a one table and write then it will be very clear clear now next one is arsenic clear ma? so nitrogen we have discussed and phosphorus over next one is what it is ma? arsenic clear but you know that here arsenic antimony and bismuth all are available in the earth crust in mineral of in the form of sulfides in the form of what it is ma? sulfides so that's why they are available in the earth crust in minerals of in uh, minerals of what it is my here sulfides minerals of sulfides clear what is that one and first one is here feas2 clear ma? this we will called as arseno arseno pyrite this we will called as what it is my here arseno pyrite clear and the next one it, if you take another one compound we have that is you know a uh, as 2 s 3 or piment what it is mahia as 2 s 3 this is what we will call mahia or piment clear so this is what it is they are available in the at the cost in the form of what it is sulfides clear ma? in the same way arsenic it is there and next one is antimony antimony also it is in the form of sulfides and what is that one means here sb2 s3 this we will called as stibnite what we will call ma? this is stibnite in the same way if you take here bismuth clear ma? bismuth it is in the form of sulfides bi2 s3 this we will called as bismuthinite bismuthinite nit clear ma? and also bismite it is in the form of oxide also sometimes that we will called as a bismite so these are the words of which one ma here no occurs of occurrence of this 15th group elements clear ma? nitrogen nitrogen in the form of nitrates and you know phosphorus it is available in the form of you know uh, appetite family it is in the uh, minerals it is available in the minerals in the form of appetite family clear ma? and next one is arsenic arsenic antimony and bismuth they are available in the earth crust in the form of sulfides 
वन इज यू नो दिस इज आरसिनो पायरेट आर पिमेंट एंड हियर एस बी टू एस थ्री स्टिबनाइट एंड दिज ऑल आर सल्फाइड वर्ड्स एंड दिस इज अबाउट द अकरेंस सो नेक्स्ट वन इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कॉन्फिग्रेशन क्लियर मैं सो वॉट इज द इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कॉन्फिग्रेशन ऑफ दिस फिफ्टीन ग्रुप एलिमेंट्स क्लियर द जनरल इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कॉन्फिग्रेशन ऑफ फिफ्टीन ग्रुप एलिमेंट्स आर इज क्लियर मैं वॉट इट इज यर जनरल जनरल इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कॉन्फिग्रेशन डायरेक्ट लाइम राइटिंग हियर ई सी इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कॉन्फिग्रेशन ऑफ फिफ्टीन ग्रुप एलिमेंट्स वॉट इट इज मै हियर फिफ्टीन ग्रुप एलिमेंट्स इज एन एस टू एन पी थ्री दिस इज द जनरल इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कॉन्फिग्रेशन क्लियर मै हियर इफ आई राइट हियर वॉट इज द इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कॉन्फिग्रेशन ऑफ दिस फिफ्टीन ग्रुप एलिमेंट्स एंड फर्स्ट आई विल राइट हियर मेक ए वन टेबल लाइक वॉट इट इज एलिमेंट क्लियर मै सिम्बल वी हेव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस दिस इज एलिमेंट सिम्बल एंड हियर अटोमिक नंबर अटोमिक नंबर एंड इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कॉन्फिग्रेशन इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कॉन्फिग्रेशन क्लियर मै इफ यू राइट लाइक दिस देन यू विल गेट सम क्लैरिटी मेक ए टेबल वन टेबल क्लियर सो दिस इज एलिमेंट क्लियर मै सो यू नो दट एलिमेंट वी हेव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस हियर वॉट इज द फर्स्ट एलिमेंट फर्स्ट एलिमेंट इज नाइट्रोजन क्लियर मै फर्स्ट एलिमेंट इज नाइट्रोजन क्लियर दिस इज फर्स्ट एलिमेंट इज हियर नाइट्रोजन वॉट इज द सिंबल ऑफ नाइट्रोजन यू ऑलरेडी नो दिस इज एन वॉट इज द अटामिक नंबर ऑफ नाइट्रोजन हियर सेवन फर्स्ट आई विल राइट हियर ऑल द एलिमेंट्स नाइट्रोजन नेक्स्ट वन इज फॉस्फरस क्लियर मै नेक्स्ट वन इज फॉस्फरस आर्सेनिक आर्सेनिक एंटीमोनी एंटीमोनी क्लियर मै बिस्मथ clear so what is the here nitrogen phosphorus arsenic antimony and what it is ma bismuth write the atomic number and here what it is there ma 7 and phosphorus is 15 what you have to do add here 8 18 18 32 then you will get the automatically atomic number you need not to remember clear 7 8 15 15 and 15 arsenic means add 18 here 15 plus 18 you will get the 33 arsenic atomic number is 33 again you add 18 33 plus 18 you will get the 51 clear ma so last you add here 32 so 51 plus 32 you will get the 83 that is it is the atomic number of nitrogen 7 pass plus 15 arsenic 32 and antimony 51 and bismuth is 83 8 18 18 and 32 7 plus 8 15 15 plus 18 33 33 plus 18 51 51 plus 32 83 now you have to write the electronic configuration clear no so electronic configuration means nitrogen is there here nitrogen what it is here atomic number 7 means what we have to write 1s2 2s2 2p3 1s2 means what i can write my here helium shall i write this one and helium so what is the outermost electronic configuration here 2s2 and 2p3 that is clear no next one i have to write for the phosphorus helium helium after then what you will get neon this is 2 and this is what it is ma 10 clear ma ne helium and you will get the 3s2 and 3p3 this is electronic configuration 10 plus 2 12 12 plus 3 15 you are getting 15 or not yes next one helium neon next one is argon you know that argon argon means what is the atomic number ma 18 now you know that 2s2 3 2p3, 3s2, 3p3. Here, what do you have to write? 4s2, 4p3. Clear? But you see, 18 plus 2, 20. 20 plus 3, 23. But here, what it is? 33 means 10 electrons left here. So that's why you know. After this, you will get what you will get, ma? 3d. D electron. D are equal how many? 5. 5 means how many electrons we can fill here? There, 10. So that's why 3d 10. Always you know, electronic configuration will be like here. Uh, noble gas here what you will write me here noble gas for last elements we will write you know n minus 2 f n minus 1 d and ns2 ns and np this is the actually how to write clear so we have written 4s2 4p then we have to write here 10 electrons left 10 electron left means which orbital should be introduced d orbital d orbital means which d you will get 3d because n and n minus 1 n is here how much 4 n minus 1 means 4 minus 1 3 that is 
Clear? Man? Now you see electrons are 28 plus 2, 30, 30 plus 3, 33. And helium, neon, argon. Next one is krypton. Krypton means what? What it is the number here? And 36. Clear? 36, 4s2, 4p3. Next what we have to write here? 5s2, 5p3. 5s2, 5p3. Clear? Man? Next you see 36 plus 2, 38. 38 plus 3, 41. But here what it is? 51. Then what I have to put here? 4d, 10. Clear? 5 and here 4. Last one. Helium, neon, argon, krypton and last one is xenon. Xenon what it is here? 54. Clear? Man? 54 means what I have to write? Because general electronic configuration is ns2, np3. 6s2. What I have to write here? 6p3. Clear? Man? Next you see. 54 plus 2. 56. 56 plus 3. You know what it is here? 56 plus 3. You will get the 56 plus 3. 59. But here we need how many electrons here? We uh, Here 83 are there. But we got how much? 8, 59. 59 means how many electrons left here? 4 and here 2. 24 electrons we have to add here. How we will add? First 6s and 6p is there. Next what I will write here? I will write here 6s2, 6p3. This is common electronic configuration. Next I will write here 5d. 5d means how many I have to write? 10. So 10 is there. Then I will get here 69. 69 means how many electrons left here? 14. 14 means which orbital should be there? F orbital, F orbital how many? 7, 7 means how many electrons we can build? 14, that is. So means 5D means you will write here 4F, 14. This is electronic configuration. Remember here, up, up to the uh, first elements means nitrogen and phosphorus, we are not using any D orbital. But here, we don't have D orbital, but here D orbital is there, but empty. But here from the arsenic antimony bismuth, arsenic antimony D orbitals are you know, fillet D orbitals are coming. For the bismuth, D orbitals are there and also F orbitals. So, next we will discuss about the physical properties of 15th group elements. Clear, ma? So, what is physical properties? And we have some physical properties. One by one we will discuss. First one is here, physical state. What it is ma, here? Physical state. First one is physical state. Physical state means how they are available. They are in uh, solid state or liquid or gas state that we have to discuss. And you know that here and that nitrogen and you know nitrogen is gas. Nitrogen is gas at room temperature. Clear ma? And here physical state and element. This is element and here what it is my physical state. Nitrogen. Nitrogen is a gas. Nitrogen is a what it is my here? Gas. N2 gas we will say. Nitrogen is in the form of gas at room temperature. And phosphorus it is a solid. Phosphorus what it is my solid but it is easily evaporate. Vaporizes easily. Vaporizes vaporizes easily clear ma? vaporizes easily clear and the next one nitrogen phosphorus arsenic antimony and bismuth clear these all are in the form of solids they all are in the form of which one here solid so this is what it is here physical state nitrogen is gas at room temperature nitrogen is a gas at room temperature clear ma? and remaining if you take nitrogen is gas and phosphorus also solid but easily evaporate clear ma? vaporizes easily and remaining are solids they are solids at room temperature also clear so this is about the physical state and next property is here we have to discuss atomic and atomic and ionic radii atomic and what it is here ionic radii so we have to discuss about the atomic and ionic radii clear ma? you know that if it is a atom then that radius we will call as a atomic radii if it is ion we are considering the radius then we will call that one as a ionic radii clear ma? so now you know that atomic radii means the at, uh, you know size actually we can say atomic radii it is increases down the group along the group increases and across the period decreases that you have already studied in the first year periodic table clear ma? so if you take 14th group elements and 15th group elements compare the atomic size here if you take here atomic radii atomic radii 
of the which group maher i am comparing 15th group element from the 14th group element 14th group elements you know we are moving across the period first 14th then after that which one will come 15th 15th group we are moving means you know across the period what will happen here atomic size or atomic radii decreases means if you take here 15th group elements 15th group elements if you take have means greater atomic or larger atomic size compared to the 15th group elements 15th group elements clear ma so why it is you already know that you already know why it is 15th group elements will have the less atomic size than the 14th group elements as you are moving from the left to right clear ma across the period you know nuclear charge increases what it is ma why it is means because this is due to the first one is why 15th group elements will have the less atomic radii means compared to the 14th group because and you know nuclear charge increases clear ma what it is due to nuclear charge nuclear charge increases nuclear charge what it is ma increases this is the first one clear if nuclear charge you know that here for the uh, 13th 14th group elements how many electrons it will have just you just think that 14th group element means carbon carbon will have six electrons and nitrogen nitrogen will have the seven electrons seven electrons are means atomic number seven means it will have the seven protons also it will have the six protons it will have the seven protons protons means where it is present they are present in the nucleus means positive charge increasing positive charge increases means what will happen nuclear force on the outermost electron will increases then automatically what will happen and atomic radii decreases because due to that attraction atomic radii decreases it come towards the nucleus so that's why nuclear charge increasing and also here shells are not increasing the incoming electron entered into the same cell clear ma here an electron electron enters electron enters into same shell electron entered into which shell ma here same shell suppose if i take here 14th group element 14th group elements means what is my ns2 np2 means suppose if i take carbon carbon means 2s2 2p2 and if i take nitrogen nitrogen means what it is ma 2s2 2p3 means here second orbit this is a first orbit and this is a second orbit for the carbon here 2s is there and 2p is there here two electrons and here another electron is added clear ma two electrons are there for nitrogen third electrons also added here where in the second orbit only that second shell only so that's why here distance is same but what happens here nuclear charge increases so that's why it attract the electrons towards it very strongly so that's why atomic radii decreases that is the reason why 15th group elements will have less or small uh, atomic size compared to the 14th group elements means because of 15th group elements uh, nuclear charge increases and electron enters into the same cell but you know that here in the group means for the if you take uh, ionic or atomic radii for the 15th group elements clear ma 15th group elements mean nitrogen phosphorus arsenic antimony and bismuth as we are moving along the group you know that at automatically atomic and ionic radii increases why increases because size increases and also number of shells also increasing from the element to element so that's why here and down the group for 15th group elements down the group clear ma down the group down the group you know atomic and atomic and ionic radii atomic and ionic radii increases atomic and ionic radii increases clear ma this is the first point and this is the second point why it is increases you already know because because you know due to or because you can write because one first one what is that one ma size increases size increases clear ma and also number of shells increases number of shells increases clear ma automatically what here number of shells increases so that's why size increases clear ma so this is about the if you see what it is here atomic radii atomic r you know ionic radii if you say 
atomic and ionic radii so what is the here nitrogen is less than phosphorus is less than arsenic antimony and what it is there my bismuth clear ma? so this is about the atomic and ionic radii we compare with the 14th group elements but 15th group elements will have the less atomic radii because of nuclear charge increases from the 14th group to 15th group and also electron enters into the same cell but if you are coming to the down the group from the nitrogen to phosphorus atomic radii increases atomic radii increases why why because means from the nitrogen to phosphorus you know number of shells increases number of shells increases means automatically atomic radii increases Claim. So, just now only I man mentioned here atomic size as the uh, uh, means if you move along the group from the nitrogen to bismuth, you know that automatically atomic radii increases. Clear? Ma? But if you see here nitrogen to phosphorus, nitrogen to phosphorus, we can see here considerable increase in the atomic radii. Clear ma? So, what it is here from the nitrogen to phosphorus, there is a considerable, considerable increase, considerable increase in atomic radii. In what it is ma here? Atomic and ionic radii. Atomic and you know ionic radii. Ionic radii. Clear ma? So, this is considerable increase we will observe. Means nitrogen to phosphorus, you know, increase is large. Clear? But, and if you see from the arsenic to bismuth, clear? What it is here? Arsenic to bismuth. Arsenic to bismuth. Clear? Here, less we will observe here, small increase in the you know atomic and ionic radii so what we will observe from the arsenic to bismuth small increase small increase in atomic and what it is here ionic radii ionic radii clear ma? so why this is what is the reason for nitrogen to phosphorus and arsenic to bismuth nitrogen to phosphorus and we will see the large difference in the atomic and ionic size but if you go to the arsenic to bismuth the increase it is increases i already mentioned it is increases but the increase is very very small what is the reason and for this the reason is for the first one first one you know for this one reason because of strong strong you know strong shielding effect strong shielding effect or you can write here screening effect screening effect of screening effect of s and p electrons s and p electrons in inner shell in what it is here inner shell inner shells clear ma? and for this one small increase increasing but the difference is not that much strong so that's why what is the reason for this means you know that poor shielding effect poor shielding effect pure shielding effect or screening effect of and you know d and f electrons d and which electrons ma here f electrons in inner shells in what it is ma here inner shells this is important clear ma so what is this meaning strong you know considerable increase in the atomic and ionic radii from the nitrogen to phosphorus because i have already mentioned if you see the electronic configuration electronic configuration for nitrogen what i have written ma helium 2s2 and what it is there ma 2p3 so next one what i have written here neon neon what it is there ma 2s2 2p3 for this you know helium means what it is 1s2 this is 10 10 means what it is ma 1s2 2s2 2p6 clear ma so inner orbital if you see the inner shell s electrons are there for this neon inner cell s electrons and what is there ma here p electrons are there clear ma you know that and screening effect and shielding effect you have studied already in the first year 
Clear ma? In the first year, screening effect and you know shielding effect we have studied. What is this uh, screening and shielding effect? You know that the electrons in the inner shell, it protect the outer shell electrons from the nuclear force. This means shielding effect means these electrons act like a wall between the what it is ma? Nucleus and outermost electrons. If there is a wall, then nuclear force on the outermost electrons will be less. Got my point here? If the shielding is strong, then nuclear force on the outermost electrons will be less, then outermost electrons will be less on the nuclear force means and electrons will move away from the nucleus, then automatically what will happen? My atomic size or ionic size increases. Clear? Ma? So that's why you know and here screening effect or shielding effect. Clear? Ma? Shielding or screening effect screening effect means how it will be means s electrons s orbital will have high than the p than the d and f this is the screening or shielding effect so that's why for these two elements s and p electrons are present in the inner shell so s and p means it will have the strong shielding effect if they have strong shielding effect nuclear force on the outermost electrons will be very less so that's why electrons will move away from the nucleus so that's why and atomic and ionic radii increases considerably but if you take arsenic to bismuth i mentioned here helium neon argon argon then what it is there ma here uh, 3s2 and what it is there 3p3 inner shell which one is there 3d10 is there from the next onwards what it is d electrons are coming d and last one if you take bismuth we have written 4f 14 and 5d10 and you know 4s2 and 4p3 4s2 4p3 so what it is happened here if you see bismuth for the bismuth I will write again here for bismuth we have written here xenon xenon and 4d10 for sorry 4f 14 and 5d10 and you know uh, 6s2 and 6p3 so here this is outermost what is the inner shells here d electrons are coming you know that for d and f electrons you know having the poor shielding effect poor shielding effect means what it is ma these electrons will not means protect the outermost electrons from the nucleus shielding effect is less poor pure means what it is ma nuclear force on the outermost electrons will be very 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 high so that's why it attract the electrons towards it it attracts the electrons towards it so that's why automatically atomic size decreases so that is the poor shielding effect of the d and f electrons in the inner shell next one is ionization enthalpy clear ma? or ionization energy you already know you have studied already this one in the first view clear ma? ionization energy means what ma? the energy required to remove the outermost electron clear ma? so that how much energy is required that we will call as a ionization enthalpy clear ma? and if you see i compare again ionization enthalpy of the 15th group elements and 16th group elements you already know just now only we have discussed if you are moving across the period nuclear charge increases nuclear charge increases means what it is ma? nuclear force on the outermost electrons will be very very high means nucleus will hold the outermost electrons very tightly if nuclear charge increases clear ma? and so that's why actually what happened here if you compare ionization energy or ionization enthalpy what it should be actually 15th group elements 15th group elements should have you know and less ionization enthalpies than the which one ma here 15th group elements clear it is 14th group means you know if you are moving from the left to right you know what will happen ma? ionization energy increases ionization energy what it is here increases now you see 14th group to 15th group elements if you are moving ionization enthalpy what it is ma? 14th group element will have the uh, 15th group elements will have the highest ionization enthalpy compared to the which group elements ma? you know 14th group elements 
clear ma so one reason that is you know that nuclear charge increases from the 14th group to 15th group so that's why in the 15th group you know the nucleus will hold the electrons outermost electrons very tightly so that's why and removal of that electron is very difficult you have to supply more lot of energy to remove electron and also if you see the if you see here electronic configuration clear ma so this is what is electronic configuration ns2 np3 and here what it is ma ns2 np2 and here ns2 np3 if i write here you know that this is how many electrons are there one and two but here you know one two and here there is a one two three clear ma so why it will have highest you know one is the reason nuclear charge and another one is here you know stable electronic configuration of this 15th group elements why because you see s orbital and p orbital s orbital fully filled p orbitals are off filled you know that here fully filled orbital are off filled orbitals are the very 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 stable stable means to remove this electron you have to supply a lot of energy that we will call as a ionization energy why one reason is because of increasing the nuclear charge because of what it is here nuclear charge and also another second reason is because of stable stable electronic configuration of 15th group elements stable electronic configuration of which one here 15th group elements so that's why here compared to the 15th 14th group elements 15th group elements will have high ionization enthalpies clear ma? and next one and what about ionization energies among the 15th group elements clear ma? means we are moving from the nitrogen to phosphorus we are moving we are moving from the nitrogen to phosphorus means 15th group element you already know that and ionization energies are decreases down the group clear ma? so what is that ionization enthalpies here ionization energies are ionization enthalpies down the group what it is ma here down the group decreases you have already studied down the group decreases why decreases down the group decreases why decreases ma? because size increases when the size increases nuclear force on the outermost electrons decreases so that's why electrons can easily removed so that's why what is here nitrogen will have high ionization enthalpy than the phosphorus and arsenic antimony and last one is which one here bismuth what is the reason reasons for this is because what it is here the size increases down the group size increases size increases down the group clear ma? size increases down the group as size increases and second one is nuclear charge on the outermost electrons decreases and the nuclear force nuclear force nuclear force on outermost electron decreases outermost electron decreases clear ma? so this is the why down the group ionization enthalpy decreases means this is the reason and if you see the successive enthalpies clear ma? what is the successive enthalpies of this means you know successive enthalpies successive enthalpies successive enthalpies of 15th group elements 15th group elements means you know that to remove one electron you have to supply some energy to remove the two electrons you have to supply a lot of energy to remove the three electrons you have to supply more more energy so that's why what is this one is delta h for first ionization enthalpy is less than for the second and for the which one here third means removing three electrons you know you have to supply a lot of energy compared to the removing of two electrons and removal of one electrons this is about the ionization enthalpies so this is third property clear ma? and the next physical property is here the fourth one physical property is you know electronegativity clear ma electro negativity 
electronegativity clear you already studied this is i will not explain much about this one electronegativity always you know down the group decreases and across the period increases clear ma so electronegativity decreases decreases down the group electronegativity decreases down the group so what what happens to the electronegativity of the 15th group elements nitrogen will have highest electronegativity than the phosphorus arsenic antimony and what it is my here bismuth clear ma? so you know that here electronegativity always down the group decreases and across the period increases and the next one fifth property fifth property here metallic character what it is my here metallic character what happens to the metallic character clear ma? so metallic character down the group decreases metallic character down the group what will happen ma increases sorry metallic character down the group increases clear why means you already know that when we, we which one we will called as a metal metals you know are electro positive metals we will consider it as a electro positive they lose the electrons very easily and that property if any element has and we will consider those elements as a metals clear ma? see now if you are moving from the down the group means if you are moving from the nitrogen to bismuth nitrogen to bismuth if you are moving nitrogen to bismuth nitrogen is small atom and bismuth is a bigger in size if bigger in size nuclear force on the outermost electron you see this is nitrogen clear ma? this is nitrogen and here this is what it is you know bismuth clear and you know that electron is present here bismuth is size so that's why the nuclear force on the outermost electrons will be less here but here nuclear force on the outermost electrons is more if nuclear force on the outermost electron is less then what will happen nuclear force on the outermost electrons will be high if it is high removal of electron is difficult but here distance is more nuclear force is less removal of this electron is easy so bismuth can remove the means easily lose the electrons so that's why easily lose the electrons means which character it will show metallic character clear ma? so that is the reason and here as for 15th group elements if you are moving down and down the group what it is ma down the group down the group so metallic character metallic character increases down the group metallic character what it is my here increases clear so that's why if you see for the 15th group elements so nitrogen and phosphorus both are you know they are non metals what it is my here these are non metals and if you take arsenic and antimony arsenic and antimony these we will called as metalloids 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 means what is ma clear they will show the both the property metal property and non metal properties that we will called as a metalloids and bismuth is a you know this is metal bismuth is what it is ma here metal so why metallic character increases down the group means here you can write here reason what is the reason here we will write because size increases ionization enthalpies decreases size increases size increases this is the first reason as the size increases nuclear force on the outermost electrons decreases and so another one is also ionization enthalpy or ionization energy decreases clear ma? due to these two reasons clear and metallic character increases down the group next property this is sixth property clear ma? physical properties melting and boiling properties clear ma? melting and boiling points clear so you know that melting and boiling points depends upon the size as the size increases van der Waal forces increases van der Waal forces increases automatically melting and boiling points increases that is the concept 
क्लियर मा ऑलवेज मेल्टिंग एंड बॉइलिंग पॉइंट्स डिपेंड्स अपॉन साइज एज द साइज इंक्रीजेस वनरेबल फोर्सेस इंक्रीजेस वनरेबल फोर्सेस इंक्रीजेस ऑटोमेटिकली मेल्टिंग एंड बॉइलिंग पॉइंट्स इंक्रीजेस एंड इफ यू सी दिस इज बॉइलिंग पॉइंट ऑर्डर फॉर दिस वन यू नो दैट फॉर नाइट्रोजन फास्फरस arsenic antimony and bismuth this is the order this is the what it is ma order why because you know that nitrogen to bismuth size increases size increases means automatically vulnerable forces increases vulnerable forces means they are extra forces to break that force you have to supply a lot of energy that we will called as boiling point so that's why here the boiling point for the nitrogen phosphorus arsenic antimony and bismuth this is the order bismuth will have the highest you know boiling point but if you are coming to the melting point and melting points if you take and small difference will be there melting points and from the nitrogen to arsenic increases what it is my here nitrogen to arsenic melting point what happens here increases clear but from the you know antimony to bismuth decreases antimony to bismuth decreases clear ma so this is so what is the reason for this? you know i already said just now only as the size increases you know melting and boiling points increases boiling points increases but what happened to the melting point nitrogen to arsenic increases but here as the size increases also melting points what happened here decreases what is the reason for this clear ma the reason behind this is because and from the this is the tendency of the because uh, you know antimony and bismuth have the tendency to form the three bonds instead of the five bonds instead of which one ma here five bonds because of you already know enart pair effect what it is ma here enart pair effect that is the reason so what is the reason for this is the reason for this is clear so these elements these two elements these elements you know the elements elements and these elements have tendency tendency to form three bonds instead of instead of five bonds clear ma this is due to this is very important this is this is due to enart pair effect this is the main important enart pair effect clear ma so what is the reason for bismuth to uh, antimony to bismuth the melting point decreases means because of enart pair effect what is enart pair effect you have already studied in the first year clear ma and you know that bismuth to means bismuth to and antimony to bismuth you know here d and f orbital will come and d and f orbital will have the less shielding effect you so this is the nucleus clear ma so this is the nucleus you know that here there will be a d orbital and here there will be a f orbital just i am saying this is 4d 1 2 3 this is 1 this is 2 this is 3 4d 4f you know this is 4f orbital will comes here and here 5d and in the last 6s2 6p3 this is the electronic configuration you know that d electrons and f electrons will have very poor shielding effect when they are having very poor shielding effect the nuclear force it cannot act as a wall between the nucleus and outermost electron so that's why this nuclear force on this outermost electrons will be high so that's why this nucleus it holds the and s electrons very tightly s electrons very tightly means this s electrons will not participated in the bond formation so these s electrons become inert if they become inert why because this nucleus it holds the electrons very tightly so that's why only these outermost means p electrons only involved in the bond formation not the s electrons clear ma that we will called as a enart pair effect and previous for these five bonds they can form here but this 
uh, bismuth and you know antimony and bismuth will form the how many available electrons are there three so that's why and you know due to this nth pair effect bismuth and you know antimony will form only three bonds instead of which how many bonds five bonds that we will call as a nth pair effect and this is about the boiling and melting points